Well, today our nation observes 100 years since the birth of President John F. Kennedy. But his death in Dallas nearly 54 years ago is still seared into the minds of many Americans when they think of the 35th president. Tonight, some Dallas police officers are concerned about the future of a key piece of that history. J.D. Miles has this story. And here is the President of the United States. November 22nd, 1963. President Kennedy was shot just as his motorcade left downtown Dallas. To those who want the history from that day preserved, it's as important as the sixth floor window and the wooden fence around the grassy knoll in Dealey Plaza. I think is a, an extremely valuable piece to, to um, history. Dallas Deputy Chief Gary Tittle is talking about the jail cell where Lee Harvey Oswald was held. I know nothing more than that. I do. And interviewed in the days following the assassination. It's still intact on a top floor of the city's old police headquarters. The cell, once again, is, is the, the only cell that exists where uh, the crime of the two people that are involved in the crime of the century sat at two different times. Oswald's killer, He's Jack shot. Ruby, He's been shot. Lee Oswald has been shot. Was also Where's held the in the, the cell, gun? which is inside a building that UNT's new School of Law is currently renovating, raising concern among those on the Dallas Police Museum Board. We don't have anything on paper and in, in writing that it will be um, left alone completely. We don't want that amended in any fashion. We want it to remain as, as it was then at that time. Tittle is worried the cell will be demolished during the $56 million renovation. But a UNT spokesman insists it won't and says the school is working with the Texas Historical Commission to preserve it. It did pose some interesting challenges and our architects have been very creative as far as how to get around those things. Still, UNT would not allow our camera inside the building to inspect the condition of the cell, citing safety concerns. It's one of the last authentic relics from the assassination still in place. Both the sixth floor window and the fence around the grassy knoll are replicas. It basically looks the same as it did in 1963. All the more reason officers say not to touch a valuable piece of history. They are housed in that overnight um, during, during that uh, extreme crisis for this entire nation. In Dallas, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News. Fascinating look inside.